Good morning guys. Today is October 8th. It's 7 something, 7.20ish. I woke up right at um, 6.50 because a neighbor started up their big truck and it woke me up. But I'm just sitting here under my Halloween blanket working on my mom's cowl and watching videos. Waiting for Jesse to wake up and if he doesn't wake up by 8 I have to wake both of them up because Devin's got a doctor appointment today and um, it's a first doctor appointment so we gotta go early and do paperwork and all that fun stuff but um, yeah so I'm just sitting here relaxing for a few minutes when I get some quiet <laughs> and uh, try to catch up on some more videos because I got caught up yesterday but then a bunch of people uploaded which I actually love because the only TV I really watch is YouTube so I like it when people upload a lot of videos because then I can watch stuff randomly throughout the day. I like to have it on when I'm cleaning or crocheting or sewing even. And uh, yeah. But I'm going to sit here and work on my mom's cowl. I might be able to get it done. I, all I have to do now is the um, the cow neck part of it. I done got the grain square part done. So I will see you guys later. Hey guys, good morning. It's actually not morning again. <laughs> it's a little after 1. It's like 1.20. Um, Tuesday, October 8th. Uh, we got up early this morning because Devin had a doctor appointment. Uh, I scheduled it early because he has to go to work at 1. So I wanted to be able to get to it and back in time. So he had to get uh, some blood work and stuff done today. And we're waiting to hear back from that, you know, whenever they do it. But he just left. Jesse's in there playing and eating bread with no crust. He always, he likes bread. Just slices of bread without the crust. <laughs> and he'll just eat them. And uh, I got in the oven, I'm cooking some leftover chicken nuggets. Some There's two chicken patties and a couple corn dogs. I'm just trying to empty out the freezer a little bit. And uh, I told Devin tonight we were going to have just a bunch of random freezer leftovers for dinner. So I'm going to cook it now so I can eat because I'm hungry. And then Devin can reheat it all later whatever's left and yeah so I'm gonna I'm about to start sewing in a few minutes but I wanted to get on here and show you guys a couple things that I made real fast I just finished these I just wove in the ends um, and this is made with my leftover knit crate yarn that I made my cowl and my headband out of and I made fingerless mitt things <laughs> I could have made them longer because I still have a lot of yarn left and I might actually pull this row out and go back and reattach and make each of these a little bit longer um, because I'd like to try to use up all that yarn because I don't know what I would use just a little bit of it for so I might go back and extend these but um, yeah I like them I'm sure they'll be cozy uh, when it gets colder and I have my jacket on you know that'll help keep this part of me warm and you know I can drive and text and everything still with my fingers and I also finished this a cowl for my mom and it's made out of um, Red Heart Colorscapes also, but I can't remember the colorway. I'll, I'll show it when uh, I think it's Munich, but I'll show it um, in the no catch name episode with it. I made its cow part bigger. <laughs> I might actually go back and add some to mine, make it bigger. But yeah, I think she'll like it. I don't know if she'll like it being closer to her neck though, but it's got a pretty good distance. But me and my sister like stuff really close to her neck, so my mom doesn't necessarily, but. Uh, I think she's really going to like the colors because it's a bunch of different neutral tones of like brown and cream, different shades of it. So I think she'll like it. And if she doesn't, then I'll just keep it and, you know, wear it with different coats or whatever. Uh, yeah, I love this pattern. <laughs> I'm, I might make a whole bunch more of these just because they're fun to make. And I love these mitts. They're comfortable. Even wearing them like right now, they're comfortable. They're a little tight on my hand, so it actually feels good. The pressure of it feels good. Uh, kind of like... What are they called? The compress gloves or whatever. I can't remember what they're called. They got an actual name. But yeah, I think I will extend them a little bit. Make, give them some length down my arm a little bit. Uh, because I still got this much yarn. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's pretty tightly wound. So uh, I could probably get a whole another set of these. So I think I'm just going to extend each of them a couple more inches down my forearm. And... Uh, See how I like that. But I got to sew today. I've already got it all set up. I got to go get the bags. They're sitting right there. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Hopefully I don't break any needles today. I shouldn't because there's no hardware on those bags. 
So I'm going to try to get as many of those bags done today as I can. There's 24. Today and tomorrow I want to get them all done and get ready to put them in the shop probably. If I can finish them tomorrow, I will put them in the shop Thursday. But if not, it'll be Friday for sure. I have a doctor appointment on Thursday. And it's it's at 2, I think. I have to keep the car that day. And then I got to run around. I got to go to Walmart and get some paper clips. And maybe a couple other things for the craft fair. I'm not, I can't remember. And I got to make sure I have change. So I'm going to go to the bank and get some smaller bills to take with me to the craft fair Saturday. So that, um, you know, I can make change for people. I'm hoping everybody brings cash that day and not the card. Because I don't want to use the card reader. Because one, I lose a little bit of money. And two, I'm afraid it's not going to work. Because my phone's not the greatest phone. It uh, messes up sometimes. But I'm going to wait for that stuff to cook and eat because I'm hungry. And uh, then I'm going to start sewing. And I'll probably sew all day today, the rest of the day. And try to get as many bags done. I'll probably, I probably won't get any bags done today. Because I'll do it in sections. But I'll get all the steps done today so that I can finish them all tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, it's about 20 till 4 and I have barely sold anything. <laughs> I'm working on the drawstring casings right now. And uh, the reason I stopped is because I, I got down with Jesse and we were messing around <laughs> and playing at the floor. And then Jesse decided to have a meltdown. <laughs> so uh, he's asleep now. I went there and made him take a nap because he was pretty rough. <laughs> I think he's gone through some on a stage or something because he's been a lot more sensitive and uh he gets upset really fast over the the dumbest things to me but to him it's a big deal and so i think his problem today is you know i had to wake him up this morning to get him and devin ready for devin's doctor appointment so i think he's tired mixed with being you know a toddler or not a toddler a preschooler you know going through transitions and all that and now he just needed a break. <laughs> so he's in there sleeping. I hope he sleeps for a little while. So I'm probably not going to sew until he wakes up. Because I don't want to risk, risk waking him up. So I'm sitting here right now watching Jersey Boys. <laughs> and uh, I might crochet a little. I don't know. I might just sit here and watch TV for a little bit. And wait for him to wake up so that I can finish sewing. But right now i got like a bunch of banners. i got two of them. I always call them banners. Because <laughs> the drawstring casings. I sew them all connected so that it doesn't use so much thread. And then um, I gotta pass it back through the sewing machine to sew the other ends and then it's like a ladder. And then I cut them all apart. But uh, I have two because my bobbin ran out of thread. But I'm gonna sit here I think and just relax and wait for him to wake up and then sew some more. I'm so proud of myself. I was sitting in there sewing. Jesse wanted me to stop sewing. <laughs> I don't know if it was bugging him or if he just wanted me to not sew. So I'm not sewing. <laughs> I'll catch up tomorrow. But I have a box in my living room that I keep things I'm working on and uh, things that I was working on in. And I went back into that and I weaved in all the ends that I've been meaning to. And I had to make this little pumpkins stem. And then I got another project here that I wove in the ends too. I can't show you all of it because it's a pattern that I haven't released yet. But I wove in all the ends. And I cleaned out the box. Now that all that's in there is my black and white yarn. Because I always leave it in that box because I always need black and white yarn. And all the cows I've been making. Because I want to keep mine in the living room so I can wear it. And I have my sisters and my moms in there so I can remember to give it to them. And now all I gotta do is I'm gonna go in there in a minute and add some more rows to the um, fingerless gloves that I made earlier. You hear me talking? With Daddy. Daddy's at work. But I thought that Daddy. No, I'm not talking to Daddy. I'm talking to the the phone. I'm recording. It's making my Daddy noise. Oh, it sounds like Daddy. Well, he'll be home later. Later. Yeah, come on, let's go back in the living room. Why this one? Mommy was cleaning earlier. It's gonna get dark. Uh. Um, I don't have a lot of lights on. He's playing a game. So I'm proud of myself. I went back and did that, and dang it, it's dark in this house. I keep all the lights off unless we're using the rooms. What else? I worked out earlier. 
I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> and um, after the craft fair, I want to get in here and clean up. This is my craft area. I'm hoping I saw some amigurumis, but I need to address this situation, which are whips. <laughs> it's a little piled up. I need to go through it and figure out if I'm going to finish or frog. I'll probably make some videos about that. So I'm going to go in there and work on those mitts, I think, and maybe try to find another pattern to start working on because now that I'm not prepping for the craft fair, I don't really know what to do with my crochet time. <laughs> but I'm going to go in there and do something for a little while. It is 7.10. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to make. I know I do want to make a big shawl for myself out of probably some of these yarns um, to keep in the car and stuff now that it's getting cooler because when we're out doing family stuff and like when we go to the Thanksgiving Day Parade and the Christmas Parade and all that uh, I'd like to have a big big old like blanket shawl to uh, take with me to wrap myself up in while we're at the parades because it always is cold you know but yeah so I don't know if I'll film anymore tonight tomorrow I gotta go to my mom's because I gotta get some fish food and take to the fish that we have there because she's got our fish tank there we're not allowed to have fish here but, um, gotta do that. Jesse's probably gonna want to stay with her, which he needs to, anyways, uh, Thursday for my doctor appointment and Saturday for the craft fair. And I might go grocery shopping tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to wait and see. Okay, I made them 18 rows longer. Not 18, 8. Glasses. I need to crochet one of those lanyard things that hold my glasses. Calm down. That blue door swallowed all the way on there. Yeah, it did. So they're longer now. I like them. And I still have yarn left. I was working from... <laughs> Bubba, hold on a second. I was working from the inside and the outside so that I could do a row on each um, mitt. To, you know, in case I started running out of yarn, I could, you know stop them evenly and I still got a lot of yarn left I don't know what to do with it 